Hello everyone. Today we will understand how to find out the side length of isosceles triangles or equilateral triangles if the side lengths are given with the variables. If you like the video at the end of the video please do not forget to subscribe, share with your friends and write a comment in the comment section. Now in the first question if you will see in the diagram in the triangle, the three angles are given. And according to this, all these three angles are equal. So that means this angle, this angle, this angle, they are equal. If the three angles are equal, that means that triangle is an equilateral triangle. And in an equilateral triangle, all the sides are equal. That means DE should be equals to EF should be equals to DF. Now we want to find out what is the value of DE. So what we will do here, we will use the side lengths which are already given in the question. So according to the question, we have written here EF is equals to DF. So we'll write down here EF. What is the value of EF? 3X minus 4. And what is the value of DF? 5X minus 12. Now after this it's a linear equation we will take the variables to one side the numbers to the other side. So if I take the number to this side so it would be 3x is equals to 5x minus 12 plus 4. 3x is equals to 5x minus 8. Minus 12 plus 4 minus 8. Now we will take this variable to this side. So we'll get here 3x minus 5x is equals to minus 8 minus 2x is equals to minus 8 and x will be equals to minus 8 over minus 2 which is equals to 4. That's the value of the x. So if I put this value of x either in 3x minus 4 or either in 5x minus 12 I'll get the same side length because they are the side lengths of the equilateral triangle. So let's see 3 into 4 minus 4 12 minus 4 is equals to 8. And here if I put 5 into 4 minus 12 which is equals to 20 minus 12 which is equals to 8. That means if this side length is 8, this side length is 8 units, this side length is also 8 units. So what is the value of DE? The value of DE is 8 units. Similarly in the next diagram if you will see they have given only two angles. So in which triangle only two angles are equal? In an isosceles triangle. So that means this side and this side just opposite to the angles. That should be equal. That means this and this side should be equal because it is an isosceles triangle. So in an isosceles triangle the two base angles are equal and the opposite sides to the base angles are equal. So in this case, what we can do, we can write down SV is equals to TV. And why so? Because it is an isosceles triangle. Now we will put the values here. 2x plus 6 is equals to 3x minus 6. We'll do the same. We'll take the number to this side first. 2x is equals to 3x minus 6 minus 6. So 2x is equals to 3x minus 12. Now we will take variable to this side. 2x minus 3x is equals to minus 12. Minus x is equals to minus 12. That means x is equals to 12. Now if I will put it in any of the equation. You can see the side length will be equal because it is an isosceles triangle. So let's put the value 2 into 12 plus 6 which is equals to 24 plus 6 which is equals to 30. Similarly over here 3 into 12 minus 6 which is equals to 36 minus 6 which is equals to 30. That means this side length is also 30 units and this side length is also 30 units. So this is how you can find out the side lengths of equilateral as well as isosceles triangles. I hope you understand the question very well. Do not forget to write a comment in the comment section and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.